Hey everyone and welcome back to another manga review. I got a romance manga recommendation for you today. Madaka Kuroiwa is impervious to my charms. I do read a lot of romance manga. Most of it is generic. Most of it is all stuff that has been done before. But every now and then I'll get this one that starts with a simple plot but it's just done right. It's just done in a way that I can really get behind with a little twist added to it. And while this high school romantic comedy is not about cute Godzilla girl, it is still very well executed how they try to go about this story. So our main character is Mano. She is the queen bee at school. She's the girl who every guy fawns over, everyone likes, perfect in every way type girl. And she very much takes pride in the fact that she's built herself up to be the most popular girl at school. But in order to do that, she's kind of put up this facade of her personality. She always chooses the option of what will make her most likable and not necessarily act like herself around her high school peers. But then one day, the new guy in school, Madaka, is sitting next to her, so she tries to pull off her usual charms with him to make him like her as well and it doesn't work. Rather instead, he just kind of scowls at her, and everyone is under the impression that he does not like her. Now, depending on how much romance manga you've read compared to me, you might have been suspecting that maybe the reason why he's scowling at her when she's putting up this, uh, this act of being this likable popular girl is because he can see through the facade and he doesn't like it. But no, they actually throw a little bit of a twist at you for why he's scowling at her. It has nothing to do with him seeing her true self or anything like that, but rather instead it's because he wants to be a priest when he grows up. And because he thinks that she's cute, because he is fawning over her, he has to push his desires away and therefore push her away even though he actually does like her. So I find that kind of interesting. That's a cute little twist that they added to the aloof character trope. Now of course her having so much pride in being the most popular, most wanted girl in school, she will not just give up without a fight. And so she tries very hard to make Madaka fall for her just like all the other guys have fallen for her. Little does she know that him actually scowling at her is his unique way of falling for her. Now as we get further into the manga series, of course, it's uh, the classic plot twist of her trying so hard to make him fall for her, but instead Mano ends up falling for Madaka. And they kind of make it out to be that she doesn't understand that she's actually fallen for him. She thinks that she's still just trying to do all these cutesy things so that he falls for her, so that she can have her status as being that queen bee, that the most popular girl in school. But really her saying that, oh, this is about status is her way of covering up for her true feelings. And that's not exactly my favorite type of trope, you know, the character who's just oblivious to their own emotions, but the way that they do it in this manga series is pretty clever because they build it up so that she's putting on this facade at school just so she can be more likable. So you understand that she's not going to get any further with this boy unless she's true to herself and true to her own feelings. It's only after when she admits her own feelings that she'll actually have a chance with Nadaka. Granted, I could also see this series as being one of those frustrating things where he actually does not end up with the main character. He just actually becomes a priest. But I hope they don't go in that direction, as funny as that would be. Uh, that would also be infuriating. But yeah, I really have been enjoying reading this series. A lot of the jokes have been landing for me very well. It actually kind of reminds me of Love is War. Not nearly as over-exaggerated, but it's that same theme of trying to get someone to notice you, right? And mimicking all these different ideas that they see in manga or in anime, trying to do the tropey thing so that the guy will fall for them, but having it all go wrong, having it not play out the way that they want it to, going to all these lengths just to 
get a guy to notice them. And I will say there is fan service every now and then in this manga, but it's done in a clever way. And if if you do fan service in a way that's in line with the comedy and kind of makes sense with the story, then I don't actually have a problem with it. You know, for example, because she's trying to get Madaka to notice her, it makes sense that she will be dressing up in these sexy outfits. And they also kind of poke fun at other uh, manga and anime by having these fan servicey moments. You know, this idea that uh, these girls always have these panty shots and they're always like, oh, my panties, oh no. But in this scenario, she's actually purposefully trying to give him a panty shot so that he'll notice her and that makes it a lot more funny and I guess meta in a way. All the while, he is definitely noticing her, but he has to push all of these sexual thoughts out of his mind. He has to very much try to push that all away so that he doesn't succumb to temptation. And uh, the way that the story is heading, I do think that he'll probably end up with the girl. Granted, it's not going to happen easily. But yes, as we go further and further into the series, the more you kind of see um, that iron will of his kind of chipping away. But like I said before, I don't actually think she has a chance with the guy until she is actually not afraid to show her true self and is actually honest with her feelings. Which I can appreciate. I kind of like that trope where it's like the girl who always does the thing to be more likable or this girl who puts up a facade of being this really kind, popular person, but they're actually afraid to show who they really are because they're worried that nobody will like them, nobody will want to be their friends if they act like their true self. And I'm excited to see where they go with this character and how they go about the romance in the future. So if you are curious in this manga series, definitely go check it out. The publisher is Kodansha Comics. I'm, I swear, I review so many of their manga, they should just sponsor me. But yeah, go buy this, go support this. Uh, I want an anime of this. So thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you did enjoy it. Tell me in the comments what manga do you want me to read and review? What manga should I be checking out? Are there any new series that you personally are into? Give me some direction guys. What do you want to see more of? Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll have more videos out for you real soon, but till then, bye! This video is sponsored by... No one. Which is exactly why you should head over to BurningStarComics.net where you can purchase independent comics made by me and my friends. You can even head over to Subscribestar where you can join the fan club and get sneak peeks at new comics and art made by yours truly. Speaking of the fan club, let's give them a shout out. Program restart.